Thank you, Hannah, and congratulations to Donald Driver. Now, the Ravens. Heading into their Week 16 matchup against the Giants, the Ravens had lost three games in a row, including a drubbing at home to the Broncos the week before. While they still controlled their own destiny, the Ravens were mired in a slump. Well, you know what? That Friday, an email crossed Coach John Harbaugh's desk, titled, A Reason to Win. The email was from a fan. His name, Matthew Jeffers, a 21-year-old acting student at Towson State University who happens to suffer from skeletal, skeletal dysplasia. Harbaugh was so moved by this email, he passed it along to his team. Here, in his own words, Matthew Jeffers gives the Ravens a reason to win. To whom it may concern, my name is Matthew Jeffers. I'm a senior at Towson University majoring in acting and I've been a diehard Ravens fan since Baltimore welcomed you with open arms in 1996. He sends us a letter and usually I don't get these letters but we can send emails here at the Ravens and uh, frankly they screen most of those. But this was one I read and it just, it just knocked me off my feet. As you, the Ravens, continue to battle through tough losses and heated criticism. Conversation has to shift to what needs to be done to get off this losing streak in time for the playoffs. It sucks to lose three or four straight games. We took that on the chin. We were not happy about it because nobody likes losing. Let me let you in on a little secret. Life doesn't care about streaks. It does not care if you want to win, if you need to win. At the end of the day, life is simply unfair. I'm short statured. I'm 21 years old, but stand only at four foot two. Over my lifetime, I have endured 20 surgeries, some small, others life-threatening. I have had a tracheotomy. I have had blood transfusions. I had to learn how to walk again. My last surgery was in 2003, and I acquired the naive mindset that I was free from the bondage of heartache. When you read the letter, you just it, it draws you in. We sent it to our guys, and our guys just, man, just I, could, I get emails back right away. This is great. This is awesome. This is unbelievable. Anytime you hear about somebody's story like that, it's just, you know, heart-wrenching for me because I've been through a lot of adversity, and I would consider myself a tough guy. Then, in 2011, my mother was diagnosed with a stage 4 brain tumor. As I write this, the doctors at Johns Hopkins are determining whether or not the next step should be hospice care. So you tell me, is life fair? When you give every ounce you have and all you have to show for it is a loss in overtime, is that fair? And he hits you right between the eyes with the, with the realities. That life does not care about feeling sorry for yourself, about self-pity. What it does respond to is a positive attitude. But let me tell you this, the only disability in life is a bad attitude. The only disability in life is a bad attitude. A positive attitude is the most powerful combatant to life's misfortunes. The will to fight, the will to survive, to win. I repeat, the only disability in life is a bad attitude. Life is your attitude, how you approach whatever, whatever happens to you. And I tell you, I get choked up talking about it right now. I think about these stories and it pushes me over the top to work harder, to not complain, to realize that I'm blessed to be where I'm at. When you play on Sunday, let it not be to silence the critics. Let it be a dedication to that simple yet powerful notion that life can be conquered with the right outlook. I promise you that everything else will take care of itself. Go get them on Sunday. I wish you all the best on your journey to the Lombardi. The only disability in life is a bad attitude. I like that. Matthew and his father will be in New Orleans to watch their Ravens play for that Lombardi trophy.